she's looking really good. This is my story of the queen bee. <laughs> Everybody, welcome to Castle Hives. Brian here. So I had several colonies in my apiary and some of them did not make queens after I split them. Some of them had failing queens and by failing queens, they had very poor brood patterns. Uh, the colonies were actually shrinking in size. I had to make the decision to go into these colonies and pinch them. And that's part of husbandry within beekeeping is that you have to be able to look at your colonies, identify when there's issues, make those difficult decisions, pinch those queens. After I pinched the queens, I went and installed queens into several of these colonies. Now right here is what I needed to check for. You see on there, there is a, a cell on there. Now, What's going to happen is when this brood emerges out, they are going to think that, well, guess what? This is mama right here. You look at how they're acting on here. See how they're in there, they're fanning. They're wanting to get in there to mama. I don't see any of their abdomens, their stingers down in there, so that's good. I did a slow introduction process where I pulled the queens out, or like this colony here, I did not find one and I taped over the candy end of the queen cage. And that was so that they would not be released right away. And what I did was I went back five days later, checked and where I found any cells, any cups, things like that, I smashed them down. Have you subscribed yet? If you have not subscribed, I'd appreciate it. Hit that subscribe, hit the thumbs up, ring that bell and you'll be notified when I put out more videos that have bees. Now I need to go through this colony here to make sure that there are no cups or cells in here. Yep, look at that. See? Okay, she's in there. And by these colonies not having queens, over that time frame, basically then they're hopelessly queenless and they will accept what I put in there because they're like, well, we can't make one and there's a queen, so let's take her. Now, as we see there, there is one of the queens. Now, she uh, has been accepted. As far as a bee colony, they work all as one. To say that this queen bee is the leader, she has a very vital role within this colony, but they will replace her if she does not perform. Today, what I'm doing is I'm going through and I am looking for signs that these queens were accepted and these colonies are now thriving. So as you saw, this queen here um, was fairly smaller in size, but she will plump up. As she matures and grows, uh, we will see that her size just, uh, she'll get quite large. Okay, I see my cage right here. So I'm gonna start on this frame. All right, the queen is still in the cage. So same thing here. She's in there, she's crawling around. This is gonna be a direct release. There she is on there, I released her. You see them on her, and what, what did she do? First thing she did, she went over to a honey cell and is feeding. I'm gonna cinch that back over and let her go. So as I wrap it up, this has been a journey. I've identified that I had problems in some of these colonies, and I felt it was my duty to pinch those queens and introduce new. We'll see how they do. Hopefully this turns it around, but this has been the story of these queens. It's just been an up and down roller coaster ride and I'm hoping that from what I find the next inspection, 
I see that all of this work has paid off. This colony, as you see, they are pulling it in. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Well, let me lift this box off and see how, how the weight is. Oh, that is a heavy box. And they are filling this out as well. Yeah, there's weight there. Probably 15 or so pounds. Look at that. I'm seeing a lot of good milk brood on here. Well, we got a monster for a colony. Now, these boxes here are filled. These ones are filled. I added on now, they're finishing these up. I added these two to give them space. The queen is laying up exceptionally. So this here is probably gonna be my monster hive of the year. Um, insane, just looking at this. So it's been a whirlwind. All of this has taken place in the last 10 days and it started May 31st and I was pulling some queens and it's just been going on for way too long. I'm hoping that this work gets these colonies going in the right direction and they all look like this one right here. Look at this beast. So let me know if you've enjoyed my story of the queens let me know, throw a comment in down there and let me know if you enjoyed just this short little video and what I've done at Castle Hives with these colonies and their queens. I appreciate everybody watching. Everybody take care and until the next one.